I love when some of my commenters are so black and so spiritual that they so damn stupid and lack com basic comprehension. Because this person obviously lacks comprehension from the video to which he is commenting on. At no point did I try to say anything about my heritage and did not represent my heritage. I'm talking about a God of a Bible. I'm talking about the God of the Bible that do not exist. I'm talking about the stories based on this God that do not exist. I'm talking about you developing into your own consciousness and you having the thought process to be able to do so. But this person automatically just makes their assumption. That's the first thing. I love when y'all assume that I'm an atheist. And even though I've said many times that I'm more of an agnostic, like there's not enough evidence to prove that there is a deity, but I'm open to one possibly existing. But I need more proof and able to see that if one exists. But no, y'all just want to jump into beliefs. And then you say stupid stuff. I'm talking about the fact of people worshiping and bowing down and, and paying all this homage to the king and queen of England and those other types of royalty. And I'm saying that nobody is royal. Everybody's equal. Everybody is equal. Now, if you want to think of yourself as a king, you want to think of your lady as a queen, that's good. Because my daughters, they were princesses, now they're queens. My son, he was a prince, now he's a king. Of course, to me, my kids are royalty. To me, my Angelina is a queen. Of course, that. But to nobody else does she has to be. Nobody else has to come down and curtsy to her. Nobody has to come and bow to me. That's the difference of what I'm talking about. But you lack the mental fortitude to be able to understand that. And so you jump off into your little anger profile and make all your little comments as if you're doing something that's intelligent. But let me go ahead and squash a little bit of some of the other things that you. And that's this part where you're talking about you don't have to believe facts. Here's the thing. There is no such thing as believing facts. Facts is just a fact. As simple as that. If you can prove that something is a fact, then there is no belief that is involved. So I don't even know what you're talking about on that one. And But you're always saying this atheist is trying to destroy the gods, as plural, because it is your responsibility to keep your ancestors' spiritual system and the culture. And let's not take that away. Here's the thing. You don't know who my ancestors are, right? You have no idea. And you're saying that I have no honor and I have no ancestral, no culture. You don't know anything about me be able to say that you don't and the fact that you had a freedom to do what you're doing is because i served in the marine corps i got many different cultures that are around me i got my marine corps culture i got the culture that i decided i was going to have myself i got my american culture i got the culture of my family and my family's culture dates goes through the process of being in the south i got atlanta culture all right but then i travel the world so i've experienced many other cultures and i ex i respect those different cultures and I've taken the parts of it that I like and incorporated into my life. Culture is something that I decide to have. Now, I know what you're actually talking about. You're talking about my black culture, right? Now, of course, growing up in America, I got Atlanta Dirty South black culture. But, of but as a person who's well-rounded and a person who studied their ancestry and whose family members told them about their ancestors, I have the culture of my ancestors. Now, do I walk around in kente cloth? Do I do all the traditions that they held no i don't but i guarantee your ass don't either because i guarantee you've never been to nigeria because you talked about being a uh, yoruba and ifa before but i guarantee you've never been to nigeria i've been there twice how many times you've been there i spent time at different elays have you spent time at elays in nigeria or in ghana or somewhere over there have you been over there to spend that time i guarantee you haven't you've been over there plenty of times but you guarantee you have not have you spent time and went through the process and become a priest of whatever. Now, technically, while I was in Iban, Ibadan, <laughs> Ibadan, uh, uh, I was given the roles of a priest of Eshu. But does that mean that I believe exactly what they believe? Hell no. But let me get to your last comment before I go fully off on well. Because you said, you was talking to another person. You said you're aware of, a, of some of the African spiritual systems. But at least you have a, at least you have a God. Cigar Man is promoting atheism again, you don't know. And our ancestors were far from atheists. This is a comment that irks the shit out of me in multiple ways. One of the main reasons why it irks the shit out of me is because it is the validation that if our ancestors believe something, then that must be true. When belief in itself, no matter where in the hell it comes from, is not true. My ancestors believe that the waters were controlled by Mama Wata. But that doesn't mean that it's true. They believe that Sh that Shango was the bringer of the lightning and the thunder and that he was this warrior. Now, he might have been a real person that they then legendized the story, kind of like the Greeks did with Hercules. But 
was he a real person? Possibly. Did he become a god and he controlled the thunder? No. Hell no. Was Eshu this Loki-like trickster god or you know, and I know people gonna say, well, they stole Loki from Eshu or Anansi, but you gotta think people around the world are going to have certain similarities in how they create gods. And that's the point. My ancestors who suffered through the transatlantic slave trade, my ancestors who were from um, the Yoruba tribe and the, and the Igbo tribe on my mother's side, but my ancestors on my father's side who were from more northern Africa, all right, they, they all had different beliefs and they made up what they could not understand based on nature. They created stories. We don't know why the thunder claps, but we're going to create Shango. So we're going to roll with that. Now, am I supposed to roll with what they believe and say that what their belief is true? That's no more valid than the Christian story. No more valid than the Greek story. No more valid than the Han story. There's no more valid than the South Pacific stories. They're all just stories. The ancestors that I respect are the people and what they did. That's the part that you don't get. You're so focused on some deities of your ancestors. I'm thinking about what my ancestors did to survive in America and I give them all the respect and which is why I gotta be a greater person because in honor of what they were able to accomplish. The ones who suffered through the transatlantic slave trade, that was something more brutal than anything that any one of us have ever experienced more than likely. What they suffered and what they did in Africa prior to that by being either conquered by other African tribes or being kidnapped by Europeans, that part. And then what they accomplished prior to that, the building of this, their, their, their country, their nations, you know, back in the day in, in, in uh, Nigeria, you know, on my mother's side, what they were able to build as far as civilization, the people themselves is what I honor and I respect. Not the belief of the people, but the people, my father's family, them coming from the Ohio Valley, from Scotland, England, Italy, and then ultimately from Mali and the Dogons and what they thought. Yeah, they thought some people came from Sirius B. Yeah, but the, f <laughs> but the fact of what they built in that empire, what was created in that empire before they were conquered by the Muslims, you know, the civilizations that they were able to accomplish. That's what I respect. I respect my ancestors for who they were as people, not some belief of what they thought because they didn't know why the rain came down, why they had droughts and all that sort of thing. But the people of my ancestors is what I respect. And maybe you need to spend more time respecting the people than trying to force the deities that they believed in that science easily explains. You talked about facts in your other statement. You don't even know what facts are, my guy. But hey, you keep doing you, because I'm always keep doing me. And always remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself, because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations. And I'm going to have a cigar.